Hello, my name is Random Apparatus, and I'm going to be going over a review of WGU's Cybersecurity and Information Assurance Bachelor's Degree Program. I'm going to tell you some things that you need to know before you start at WGU and what to expect, as well as some pointers when you get started. Now, I'm not really going to go through a really long introduction. I'm going to jump right into it. The first thing is what you're going to have to expect at WGU. And the main thing is that you're going to be mostly on your own. This isn't necessarily a bad thing, but if you think that you really need a, not necessarily a hand-holding, but you need step-by-step -step instruction, you need video lectures or direct interaction with course instructors, then this program or any program at WGU is probably not right for you. In other words, don't expect to be coddled through everything. This is not to say that the course instructors are bad or that they're not reachable because you can definitely get a hold of them and I would have to say that pretty much every course instructor that I've come across has had appointment times to fit whatever schedule that you're on. It's really important that you do touch base at the beginning at least of every single start of a course but more on that in a different video. Today, One thing that I want you to know is that there is a lot of talk going around. It seems to be kind of a negative connotation as far as a lot of their courses, especially in the cybersecurity program, are you certify courses. And I guess these are things that you can go and get yourself um, and go through the material. However, one, you're getting college credit. Two, this just isn't a bad thing. Um, and at least it's better than having to go through a book by yourself because this is a little bit more interactive. It's really easy to kind of plan things out. All in all, this goes in hand with the fact that if you really need um, kind of more interaction with course instructors or a teacher, then like I said, this isn't for you. Otherwise, this isn't really going to bother you. The cost of these U-certified courses, these things are hundreds of dollars per course. Okay, a lot of certifications are included with the cybersecurity program and the cost of these certifications are included along with the second attempt. Overall, I would have to say that my experience with WGU um, in the cybersecurity program is a really positive one. In further videos, I'm going to go into more detail about the courses, specific courses. I wouldn't be that scared of failing unless you just put no work into it because there are certain requirements before you can even get in this program. One of which, the only one that I met, that I had an associate's degree in information technology from another university. Um, I believe it's either that or you have to have some specific IT background as far as work experience goes. If you're not in the IT world at all, you have never had a job in the IT field, uh, a lot of my videos are going to be for you because that's kind of where I'm coming from. Uh, I have some really specific steps on what to do. As long as you're okay with the idea of not being coddled, as long as you're willing to poke and prod the course instructors for specific information that you're looking for, um, what I would have to say is that this program is definitely great just because of the amount of certifications and the amount of specific security knowledge that you um, get. I'm doing an internship at a cybersecurity firm and there are some certain things that I knew that other people didn't that are already working in the field because they were hired from a different part of IT and didn't have specific education into security. Um, the weirdest thing was when I first got in the internship uh, I had my A+, plus, Network+, plus, and Security+, plus, and one of the requirements for that job was that you have Security+, plus within the first six months of working there. Anybody that goes to WGU will tell you, six months to get a Security+, plus is a joke. Most of the classes you're going to spend maybe four or five weeks on tops. And that's just having the drive and realizing that you can get through this as fast as you can. Another major thing that I wanted to address is that a lot of online programs say at your own pace or you can finish this program as fast as you want. This is absolutely true with WGU. It's not necessarily true with any other online school that I've ever seen. You get to take one class at a time and that's what I would recommend. I don't think there's any point in taking multiple classes at once at WGU. You can actually finish at your own pace in the WGU program. If you wanna do eight, or 10 classes in a six month term, you can absolutely do that. And I do eight classes a term. You just have to be willing to put in the work. And honestly, it's not necessarily that long because they make sure that you're prepared. The course material is great, in my opinion. Some of the classes, it's the last thing I wanna say before absolutely wrapping up is that you need to invest in a whiteboard. 
A whiteboard, in my opinion, is absolutely necessary, especially for some of those complex tasks. Hands down, I don't think I could have gotten through a lot of things without a whiteboard. And also, it just helps brainstorming because some of these topics require you to critically think on your own, come up with your own questions and your own ideas for possible solutions. And that just requires, to me, a whiteboard. I definitely think it's a lot easier to do things when you have a whiteboard. So just a final wrap up, basically, WGU, cybersecurity program, don't expect to be coddled, don't expect to pay a lot of money for books, it's really inexpensive tuition. You can really go at your own pace and overall you get really good certifications that make you look really good in the field and it's an overall enjoyable experience. And the next video is going to be how to deal with course instructors the right way to get the information that you need. A lot of people have trouble, including myself, with extracting specific information out of course instructors and I have just the guide for you. Uh, any comments down below about specific videos that you'd like me to do, please let me know and I'll do that. Go ahead and hit the like button, subscribe, and turn on your notifications because there's a lot of WGU videos coming your way.